Okay, it is uh, Friday the 24th. Congrats on getting through build season again. FRC teams have a weekend off to make their spare parts and um, work on maybe some unbag time, possibly. And then uh, many of you, of you are competing next weekend. But we do have some announcements to make. So we have two contests that we had running up until uh, there were some deadlines this week. There was the Break Your Bot contest and there was the OCD or Elegant wiring contest. So the wiring contest, let's do that one first. There were some really good, really good wiring entries. Awesome job by the teams who made really elegant wiring efforts. There's three that were very, very good. Two of my favorites that weren't quite the top one were 1038, um, team out of uh, Cincinnati, longtime team. They had really neat wire, wireways and um, wire wrap. I think we'll post a picture of their awesome job. The other team that was really good, this team had really awesome wiring label. Not only was it neat, but their labels were impeccable. That was 1501 out of Huntington. Team Thrust had a very nice, very wonderfully wired robot. But the team that was the most OCD, the most elegant, I thought, was Team 4930. Ironically enough, electrical mayhem. It was anything but mayhem. It was very organized. All their wires went behind panels and were tucked in. Uh, you couldn't even see the darn wires. And probably, maybe it wasn't even wired. I don't know. It was so good. Good job. The Break Your Bot contest was was um, we had some we had some interesting entries. One of the entries, um, they had the robot climbing on a rope and it fell down and they were, they were on a gym floor. So I hope that gym floor is okay. So I hope there's not a divot in the gym floor. Can you see Yes. So we only got like two submissions. I know, I know. What's, what's up with that? I, I can't believe there weren't that many breaks of robots. And the point was to really celebrate the breakage of your robots. But the team that I, I saw, they, they had a really early entry. They, they broke their climbing mechanism. Well, the climbing mechanism, fell off and they I heard they bent their frame a little bit. But 829, awesome job, digital goats. The thing I liked about it was when it once it fell and it something was wrong, they said, Oh, I guess we gotta fix that. So that was that's the point, is to fix it, right? So good job. Also it was yesterday, I think 118 Robonauts dropped their very anticipated robot release video. It's Crazy, amazing. It's really, really good. I think I watched it about six times last night. I watched it I did like their song choice. I know, I know that Justin and everybody on 118 really scrutinize over their song choice every year. It's, it's kind of silly the pressure that they get for that. I did notice that they held 118 balls in the robot. That was quite impressive. And their flywheel, I think, was the most impressive thing to me. How they're spinning it super fast to get to get that speed to maintain through the stream of balls. So I posted the link to the 118 release video on my, my personal Facebook page and I got a note from a good friend of mine in FIRST who's been doing FIRST a long time. He's like, well, I'm concerned about how much adult involvement and how much the professional engineers are doing for robots like that robot. And this is a guy who's been in it a long time. He and I had a really good conversation about it and I said, I, I know the kids on this team, I know they, they're involved. They just run an excellent program. Now, granted, they have probably one of the best build spaces in all of FIRST. Kudos to them for having that. But this is, I mean, I'm inspired. Kid, I know countless kids are inspired. There's other team members that are inspired. This is an inspiring video. This is where, the, this is the capital I in FIRST. That 118 video, and the 148 video, and the 179 video. Those things are extremely inspiring. They keep. They keep raising the bar to make the whole the whole competition better every year. So yeah, there were engineers involved with the development of that robot, but darn it, there should be. And I believe that that's how we are inspiring students to become professional engineers. This is not a science fair. This is a program about inspiration. So that's my two cents. Okay, so we're gonna do this once a week over the next few weeks because there's a lot of events happening and we're gonna be on the road like uh, toward the end of each week. If you're a, uh, a steady watcher, we're only gonna do one show a week and we will, we will see you next week around Tuesday or Wednesday. Eight twenty nine digital goats. Good job. Oops, I, I just did. I did this. That wasn't good.